Hello there everyone. This is uh, the first episode of Largely Mediocre Gaming. Um, and I'm going to be bringing you some uh, gameplay of Dust and Elysian Tale. And starting up a Let's Play. But first of all, um, I'm going to talk for a bit about the channel, the blog, what we're planning to do, who we are. Just very briefly, um, but I'll put annotations in, click on those coming up now if you want to skip straight to the gameplay and get some first impressions of the game. So, as for the channel, um, this is really a two-man uh, thing. It's myself, uh, Callum, better known as Lumpa, and Ananto and Ilkumar, better known as Mock. And we're going to be doing Let's Plays, reviews, discussion about games, just loads of content, going to try and keep people updated regularly. Our first plan is going to be doing some Dark Souls gameplay. Um, I'm also going to be looking at reviews of a few indie games that have come out recently, things like Gunpoint, Anti-Chamber, uh, Kerbal Space Program, not out recently but I'm enjoying it so. Um, we also have a blog, um, I'll put a link in the description below uh, and that's going to be similar ideas, we're going to be doing reviews, we're going to be having discussions uh, and that's going to be as well a method of us letting you know what's happening with the channel. And that is going to be more um, handled by my friend Ananfa. He's going to be doing, um, you know, sort of regular reviews, regular updates, letting people sort of know any big news in the world of gaming. So go and check that out. It's going to be really exciting. And um, without any further ado, let's jump into the game and uh, show you what it's about. I'm going to start a new game um, just so you can see everything from the beginning. I won't talk over any of the dialogue as well. So uh, watch and enjoy. Our world has fallen to fade, its great works long since complete, its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise, has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust. Dust. Arise. What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. <sighs> Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget! Guardian of the sword! Okay, yeah, so you get a few dialogue choices in this game. Um, in general, they don't seem to have too much of an effect on gameplay so far, but that might change as we go along. Um, let's be mean to Fidget. Uh, she doesn't look no like a offense, guardian. but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. I quite like the voice acting as well. You know, that sounds pretty professional. It's quite um, satisfying. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, <laughs> that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. 
I can't let you just leave with this sword fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Uh, good luck. Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. So that's the opening cutscene. Um, it, as you can see, it does that sort of uh, Japanese RPG um, style thing of two talking heads either side, sort of slightly animated, which I quite like. It has a nice aesthetic. Um, it works well with the sort of cartoony style. Um, so yeah, I enjoy that so far. And I think, as I said, the voice acting is quite good. Um, bear in mind everyone, this is my very first video, um, I don't have any practice editing, um, I don't really, you know, have much to do what I'm doing here, so please, uh, go to the comments, leave feedback, tell me what you liked, didn't like, what you think I could improve, um, because, you know, I want to get good at this, and, uh, hopefully in the future I can make some good content for everyone to enjoy. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. So yeah, you get uh, these little notes that let you know about things in the world. They're quite useful, and it's quite a nice little way of telling story. Uh, so, in ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about the world. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, treasure chest, we need keys. All right, we found a chest! Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. The, uh, sword can get a bit, uh, weird. Sort of like, sword of greater exposition or something going on. But this is a beautiful game, I mean, just like, look at look how great the artwork is, especially given it was made by one person. Ah! Monsters! Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. I like that, you get these little in jokes, you get a bit of um, four four breaking, especially from Fidget. I like it, it doesn't take itself too seriously. <sighs> Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange, where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think. This morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them.
The uh, combat is pretty pretty simple. You've only got about four real combos you can pull on, like two ones on the ground, two in the air. But you do seem to sort of unlock more as you go on. Um, and it does feel quite free, it's quite satisfying. It's like a sort of um, 2D God of War feel to it. There you go, that's a bit of the combat. Oh, one last guy. And we're done. Yeah, it's got a basic parry system as well, um, as you've seen. So I do really like the combat um, so far. I'm hoping it gets a bit more complex maybe as the game goes on. I am, I think, a decent chunk of the way through um, in my other game, but uh, I'm still sort of waiting for it to get a bit more elaborate. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the Super Ballistic Fidget Action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, very pretty. Oh, brilliant. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. my power, it will use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. So yeah, the game's not uh, too hard if you're just trying to sort of get through and do... If you're just trying to get through Kill of the Monsters, it's not really much I'm having. But so far, the impression I'm getting is a bigger sort of difficulty tab. I'm trying not to get here, trying to make nice big combos. Like that. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, so I'm going to call this video there. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed. As I said, please do uh, leave some advice for us in the comments. I want to get as good as this at this as possible. You know, uh, advise me about my editing, about the content. Go take a look at the blog, see what you think of that. 
uh, and I will see you guys next time.